Before this book was technically published, it was already fast-tracked into production after Stephen King loved the adaptation of Salem's Lot and wanted another one of his works made into film. The plot of this film involves a bullied kid named Arnie, Keith Gordon, who buys a 1958 Plymouth Fury off of a guy who warns him of the dangers of the car. Arnie doesn't listen and soon becomes infatuated with the Plymouth Fury, Christine. It's a ridiculous plot, but of course, famed horror director John Carpenter finds a way to make it work and extraordinarily well. Arnie's development from shy but likable nerd to a mean and sadistic greaser is pretty sad because of how likable he was in the beginning and how Christine is torturing and manipulating him into loving her. Somehow, Carpenter expertly found a way to make Christine feel not only like her own character, but incredibly creepy as well. All the characters are extremely likable and have great chem chemistry with one another, like Arnie's friend Dennis and Arnie's girlfriend Lee Cabot. To me, this is one of Carpenter's best films. He has a lot of them, but this is certainly a great one, mainly because Carpenter and King's horror styles are pretty similar, and Carpenter ha was the perfect man to direct an adaptation like this. It's a shame he couldn't direct Firestarter, mainly due to the poor reception of the thing at the time. But he did see the light of day, and we'll get to that film soon. Christine is one of the lesser-known films of the Carpenter Library, but it's certainly a great adaptation. The creepiness of the car, the chemistry between characters, Arnie's turn to the dark side, and the simplistic story that slowly goes from light-hearted teen drama to a creepy horror film that uses themes of manipulation and obsession to tell its story. It just... it just works. The music by John Carpenter and frequent collaborator Alan Howarth is also really great. I really enjoy this film. It's creepy not in a The Thing type of way, but more in a lighter type of way that just passes uncomfortableness. Overall, a very good adaptation and a great Carpenter flick. Check it out.